New on AM Extra, new Miss Oregon USA and Miss Oregon Teen USA have been crowned. These two remarkable young ladies claimed their respective 2022 titles earlier this month. Yeah, so that is Elena McClannon Clemens on the left there. She's your new Miss Oregon Teen USA. And on the right, Arielle Freytag, Miss Oregon USA. Elena and Arielle are both joining us live this morning, fresh off their new titles. Good morning to you both and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, Arielle, I want to start with you. This is your, your sixth attempt at the crown, and you yeah. came out victorious this time, so that's awesome. What kept you going through all of these uh, pageants? Really never giving up. I didn't want to end my pageant career with the regret of what would have happened if I just kept going. And so I kept going. Giving up wasn't an option, and this is something that is so important to me and means so much that I never gave up and I hope that inspires other people to never give up. I love that. Well, you said that to end your career, would this have been your last uh, attempt if, if you didn't if you didn't win it? Yes, I would have aged out. There's an age limit and I am currently 27 years old and this would have been my last year of eligibility. Oh, I see. Man, well, so congratulations. Cool. Yeah. Well, Thank Elena, you. walk us through uh, Elena, walk us through your moment when you heard your name called as Miss Oregon Teen USA. Yeah, so I watched the video back of my crowning and I can see that I'm talking with the other girl. And to be honest, I cannot tell you what I said. <laughs> I, think I, I think I blacked out. But it definitely was on the lines of congratulations. I was so excited whether I won or whether she won because I really got to know her over the weekend. And so hearing my name called, I was, I was shocked. It still hasn't fully set in, even though this was a week ago. And I'm just so excited for all the opportunities that this year is going to have and going to come. Oh, that's, it's just so cool. Now, I know one of the big things uh, in, in this role is a platform that each of you, you know, uh, want to be able to now use to, to further a cause. So, Elena, will you tell us a little bit about what your, your platform has been and, and kind of your, your mission and focus going forward here? Yeah, so I'm really passionate about climate change. We have one planet and I think we need to protect it. And so going forward, I would love to organize. I'm working on it right now, actually organizing monthly cleanups where everyone can get together in their own communities to help pick up trash from their neighborhoods. Because even though it makes a, such a small difference to you, overall, if we all pitch in that little bit, it'll make such a huge impact. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, um, Ariana, say, or uh, Ariel, some uh, question to you. What, what would you use that platform for? I am very passionate about volunteerism. It's something I've been doing in Oregon since I was two. And it's something that I really want to inspire people to get involved with because it's so easy. You don't need money. Your time is the most valuable currency and you can do so many things in Oregon for Oregonians and to help your community. Oh, well, you both are, are certainly both great examples of that. Uh, Arielle, I know you recently left your full-time job to be a caretaker for your mom as she battles cancer. So our, our thoughts go out to her. We hope she's doing well. I, I understand she was at the hotel watching the live stream uh, away from everyone while the pageant was happening. So how was that to, to have your mom cheering you on in spirit there? Yes, it was so important. The most important thing for me was to make sure she had the least amount of exposure to COVID because she's susceptible during chemo treatment. And she's always with me, no matter physically or in spirit. And so I had her right there next to me on stage. And I'm pretty sure she's so loud, I could hear her all the way from the venue, from the hotel. <laughs> and as soon as I won, she hurried over and she came inside and it was really safe and everybody gave her space. And so she was able to come take pictures with me. And then we masked her back up and got her back to the car all safe. But oh. it was really magical. And I'm very thankful to have her, that she's doing so good and she's healthy. And I just want to tell everybody, please go do your yearly checkups. If you can catch it early, you can really have a great chance at survival. Well, that's a, another Absolutely. way you talk about using the platform. That's a great example Good right message, there. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a great message. Um, before we let you go, Elena, this is an awesome fun fact. So you're, you're a Miss Oregon Teen USA. You're also a champion Irish dancer, which I think is amazing. Very cool. Yeah, tell us more about your Irish dancing career. Yeah, so I started Irish dancing because I wanted to hang out with my best friend when I was in second grade and I missed her, she was dancing. So I was like, I love to dance, I'm gonna take an Irish dance class. Even though she moved away a couple years later, I fell in love with dancing and I stuck with it. 
Last May, I was actually able to move up into the highest level of competition, uh, Open Championship. So it has been a long-term goal coming for me to be a champion Irish dancer. And I'm so proud and excited that I can finally say that about myself. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh my gosh, you guys both are just doing so well. Bright futures ahead of you. Thank you ladies for your time this morning. Ariel and Elena, congratulations on your new titles and, and best of luck. We'll be cheering you on as you represent Oregon later this summer uh, nationally. Thank you. Thank you guys. Right, Have an awesome care. weekend. And of course, if you want to learn more about the competition, this year's winners, you can check out MissOregonUSA.com.